Hi, welcome in. August 1, Planner. Devote your heart and soul to seeking the Lord your God. Begin to build the sanctuary of the Lord God so that you may bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and the sacred articles belonging to God into the temple that will be built for the name of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 2 verse 19. The month of August is one that creates a sense of eager anticipation. Summer is wrapping up and with September usually comes new beginnings. There is excitement in the air as the school buses start up their engines, sports seasons get underway and plans come and go. August can be a great time to get into a routine. August can mean that your mornings start just a half hour early to spend time in the presence of God, or you find time in the afternoon to go for a quick walk to pray, or you start a prayer chain with women you know to pray for one another as the months roll by. Father, I devote this month of August to you. I devote this very first day as the beginning of my intention to spend time reading uplifting words and reflecting on your love and grace for me. Set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise therefore and build the sanctuary of the Lord God so that you may bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God into the house that is to be built for the name of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 22 verse 19. How good it is that you have chosen this evening to sit down and reflect on the Lord. When you make dedicated time with the Lord, conversing with him becomes a part of your every day, a necessity to find your day complete. And oh, how it delights him when we spend time in his presence. How will you continue to make your time with God a priority in this season. Schedule it in a new planner, set an alarm on your phone, or partner with someone else to help keep you on track. You will never regret time spent with the Lord. Lord, it's not easy to develop healthy habits of spending time with you. Thank you that you are with me in this time. Help me to make this a more ha habitual part of my life. What could a different routine look like for you?